All right, I'm in my studio today to share with you how to quickly and professionally stretch a canvas the proper way. Now I stretch my canvases so that they can be hung on a wall without an outer frame. Today's video that I'm going to show you is a 20 by 60 stretcher bar frame and it's an inch and a half thick. Now it's a heavy duty stretcher. I also have a center support bar in it so when the canvas gets tight, it doesn't bow in the center. Okay, now if your canvas stretcher bars are like in this one, 20 by 60, add seven inches to that dimension so it becomes 67 by 27 because you want at least three and a half inches all the way around the canvas so that you can fold it over and still have room to grip it with your hands or your stretcher pliers and tighten it down. Now, as you'll see in the video, I don't use stretcher pliers on the first and second end or, or side. So I'll go to the very end and just snug that by hand and put staples in it. Otherwise you just pull the canvas out from underneath the stretcher bars. And on the next side, I do the same thing. So the opposite end and the opposite side, that's where I use my stretcher pliers to snug it down. Okay. So this is a quick, easy, professional way. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make that template if anyone is interested. So see what you think of this. If you like it, subscribe and let me know if you have any comments. I appreciate it. All right. I'll see you at the end. Thanks. To get your canvas looking like this, you need to put your stretcher bars together and square them off, then staple the corners. Now to square them off, you measure corner to corner diagonally, and you should get the exact same measurements, okay? Now then, you lay your stretcher bar on top of the canvas that you've cut. Cut your canvas seven inches larger than your stretcher bar on all sides, because you have to wrap it over the stretcher bars to the inside. And that measurement is for the inch and a half stretcher bars, which are heavy duty. This particular canvas is 60 inches. So now I'm going to mark along the edges, especially around the corners. I like to do the whole thing. Set that bar aside. And because it's stapled, it'll stay square. Now I grab this template that I've cut out, and I will show how to make that in the next video. Lay that template on the lines so that the outer edge, where I'm showing you right now, that's going to fold up and give you this kind of a corner. Okay, and that's a nice neat corner for a canvas that's not going to be framed. Now once you've lined it up, you see you have the inch and a half that goes over, plus enough to wrap over and grab with your stretching pliers or your hands. Then you're going to trace around this template. Now, the little excess on the end of this, this was an end of roll. I don't normally leave that much beyond where the template goes. So you move it to each corner. Now to move it to the next corner over, you flip it to the opposite side and do the same thing again. Line it up. And if you're not sure if it's right, bring it up. And just like the canvas would, you can see how it will fold. I like to have the tabs so that they end up on the bottoms of a canvas and the top of the canvas rather than the part that will be possibly seen from the side. Okay, now you cut this canvas along those lines. And where the tab is, you just cut one line and you're going to leave a little lip right there that'll show you how that folds under as we put it on the stretcher. Okay, so you see how that fits. Let's put the stretcher back down on the canvas, lay it on the lines that we've marked out. And you want to make sure you get that right to the corners. Everything lines up. Fold the end of the canvas, one end. For me, this is the short side or the long end. Now I'm going to fold that tab in here and staple it. And I'm not using stretchers on the first end. Now there's that little line I showed you, that tab in the 
template, this we're going to crease down in. We can tuck it tight after everything is stapled, but we like to get it started under there. It works better. Crease it down a little bit and fold this end up, keeping that tab creased in there. All right. Now, once you get that corner folded up, see I've already done this corner, you come back and you can tuck those in a little tighter. And I come back sometimes and after it's all done to make those even prettier. I like to fold in all of the edges so that over time they don't fray and collect dust. My canvases are usually created in a way that allows people to hang the painting without an outer frame on it, and they still are very presentable. Most people prefer to hang my paintings without frames. Now, you can see how I stapled those corners on the front, so that goes down against the canvas, and then when you lay the canvas in there, you staple the corners. Now, from the end to the center bar, I stretch it towards the center bar and put one staple in there and I'll come back later and start putting staples between the areas where there are staples. Okay, now at the opposite end, now it's time to use the stretcher. So we clip that on there, that little cleat on the bottom goes over the wood and then you fold it down. You don't have to be too tight, just snug. You don't want to tear the canvas. Now once you get it nice and snug, Put your stapler up against the edge of that metal stretcher pliers and pop a staple in the center and you can see the stretcher marks there so I can snug it by hand then. After you've done that all the way around it'll look like this. Then I come back and I put, since I have a stretcher, uh, a staple at each end, then I come back and put one in the center and then one between those and they're fairly evenly spaced. Yes, that's overkill for staples, but I like to do it that way. Now, this is fairly tight. I want it snugger, and it'll pull out any little creases or wrinkles that might be on an edge or sometimes even in the canvas itself uh, in the center. So you spritz it with some water, grab a foam brush, and make sure you get water up, uh, the moisture up underneath those wooden bars all the way around. Tuck it in nice and tight. And then just brush out that mist on there. As soon as that canvas starts getting damp, it starts drawing tight. And you want it to draw down nice and even. So just a quick spritz and brush it around with that foam brush. And now you've got a drum tight canvas that looks professional. All right, so there you have it. A beautifully stretched canvas that you'll be proud to paint on. And don't be afraid to paint on it because I'm sure you're going to do something great. Let me know if you have any comments, if there's anything else you would like to see. I'm going to do some videos on acrylic painting. Um, I would do some on oils, but I don't use any oils anymore. I used oils for about 50 years, and there's nothing that I did in oils that I can't recreate in acrylics. And there's a lot of reasons for using acrylics. If you're interested, leave it in the comments, and we can talk about that. And I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to see more of my art, go to jackdiamondart.com.